My name is Yushi. Uh, I'm presenting our work, Prep Path Based Relevance from a Publicistic Perspective in Heterogeneous Information Network. This is a joint work with Po Wei Chen, Hong Lei Zhuang, Huang Gui, and Zhao Wei Han. First, let's talk about some background. In real world applications, objects of different types can have different relations, which form uh, heterogeneous information networks which is also known as HINs. So basically, when we talk about HIN, what we are talking about are typed nodes and typed edges. So in this toy example, we have the node type person, we have the node type uh, location, and so on. Uh, for edge types, we have uh, the edge type which represent a person lives in a location, and the edge type representing a person attends a university, and so on. And actually, HINs are everywhere. So here we have the IMDB network, uh, which is basically just a movie reviewing network. We have bibliographic network, where uh, authors write research papers, publish them in different venues with different keywords and terms, and so on. And we also have biomedical network, uh, where, uh, which is consists of, like, say, gene, disease, a protein, a chemical, that sort of thing. And beyond that, we also have linking economic, economic graph, social graph, Facebook open graph, uh, et cetera. And with all these networks available, a fun fundamental problem in network mining is to define relevance measure, which is also known as similarity or proximity. And we believe defining relevance measure is actually very important because uh, it can downstream bad, uh, down it can benefit downstream applications, like say community detection, link prediction, and recommendation. And in our context, in context of HIN, a relevance measure should be able to answer questions like, how a person model is relevant to the person Steven? And also, HIN relevance measure must also answer questions like, say, uh, how uh, UC Berkeley, the university, is relevant to Berkeley, the city. So to answer these kind of questions, man, um, many existing HIN relevance measures are defined upon the concept called metapath. And when we say metapath, basically it is just a type of pathes. Say in this toy network, we have a location where a person lives in, and this person majors in a discipline. And a concrete path instance in this toy uh, network would be, say, Berkeley is where Mordo lives in, and Mordo majors in computer science. And I can, of course, come up with more examples. Say, a metapath can be a person attends a university, where, which is also attended by another person. Say, in this graph, we have Wang and Mordo both attending uh, UC Berkeley. And for a given metapath, T and a pair of nodes, S, or equivalently UV, we can actually count the number of path instances between a node pair, S or UV, under metapath T. And we denote such path count by uh, P sub ST, or equivalently P sub UVT. Um, a concrete example, under this specific metapath, we will, able, we will have path count between one and Mordo to be exactly one, and the path count for Mordo uh, back to himself under the same metapath to be two. And on top of that, we have some widely used HIN relevance measures. Uh, for, uh, for instance, for a single metapath, path count is probably the simplest one, and most straightforward one, which is just the count of path instances between a pair of nodes. And in this toy network, we have the path count under metapath T between one and Mordo to be exactly just one. And beyond that, PathSim further proposed to penalize nodes with more cycles. And when we say cycle, we mean those path instances from a node back to the node itself. So in this case, actually, um, we will see that Mordo have two cycles, and we penalize this Mordo guy. And this kind of penalization actually makes sense, because Mordo attends multiple universities, and it is therefore a less significant thing for Wang and Mordo to be schoolmates. And beyond that, we also have joint sim, which is basically just another way to penalize nodes with more cycles. And now that we have the relevance measure for a single metapath, uh, oftentimes people would want to aggregate the relevance score from multiple metapaths together. And this kind of, in this kind of scenarios, linear combinations is usually used to combine multiple metapaths. And specifically speaking, here we have the weight vector W. 
uh, representing the weights for uh, different math paths. Uh, you can simply define the uh, path count under multiple math paths using this linear combination, as we can see on the screen. Um, for example, in this type network, the path count under multiple meta paths between one and mortal will just be this weight W1 plus weight W2, uh, very straightforward. And similarly, uh, people have also defined uh, path sim and join sim under multiple meta paths. Okay, now that we have this relevance measure, and researchers have shown in different papers and different experiments that they actually work. So we actually begin to think, how can we understand these heuristic measures? Like, why can these heuristic measures reflect relevance at all? So uh, for this question, we have the following thinking. First, in a network, most node, most node pairs are not connected by path instances under reasonable metapaths. Say, uh, under this metapath, one is not connected, one doesn't have a single path instances to any of the other guy on the other side of the graph. However, we do see this path instance between one and mortal, which shows this is something special. There must be something special going on here. In other words, it is a significant event to observe path instances between a pair of nodes, uh, which is exactly what path count captures here. And if we go one step further, path sim penalizes nodes with more cycles. That is basically just saying it is a less significant event to have pass instances with these kind of nodes with um, more cycles than those with only one cycle or no cycle at all. So with this kind of thinking, we begin to wonder whether we can establish a probabilistic interpretation to quantify such significance we are talking about here. And of course, to this question, our answer is yes, we can. How we do it? We do it by assume the generating process of past instances via a exponential distribution. So here we start from the uh, simplest scenario where the path count between node pair S under MetaPath T is generated from exponential with a fixed uh, rate lambda. And in this case, if you compute the negative log likelihood of observing such path instances in the data set, what, we, what you will have is that you see it is exactly equivalent to path count under MetaPath T between this node pair. And this actually gives us this equivalency that you have likelihood on one side and relevance on the other. And if we, if we take one step further, by assuming path instances are generated with a MetaPath specific rate WT, like here, and we compute the negative log likelihood again, what you get is again, this ne negative log likelihood is equivalent to path count under multiple metapaths between this same pair of nodes. And we can actually derive similar results for passing and join sim by adding a node pair specific component kappa s. And all this computation actually gives us a connection between likelihood and relevance. And in other words, actually this gives us a probabilistic interpretation of the path-based HIN relevance measures. And beyond the path-based, uh, sorry, beyond the probabilistic interpretation, uh, in this work, we also identify three characteristics that we deem important for path-based uh, HIN relevance. And the first one is node visibility. And we can explain this using uh, the example in this toy network, which is like say Mordo is more visible than one, so having a path with nodes like Mordo is not that much an unlikely thing. And uh, this kind of node visibility is exactly what is already modeled by path sim and join sim using heuristics. And the second criteria we talk about is path selectivity, where in this toy example, we have the first meta pass M1, with, uh, we, we think M1 is more selective or more informative than the third meta pass M3. This is because the met a third meta pass discuss about people going to the same, uh, majoring in the same discipline, and we can see that in this world, there are so many people majoring in computer science. However, under meta pass one, people going to the same university, there are only like say comparat comparatively less people going to say Stanford. So we believe if we do see two people going to Stanford, 
this will actually give us a more significant signal than we see both people study in computer science in terms of relevance. And th this path selectivity is actually also modeled by the weights of the metapathies in the linear combination we've shown previously. And the last characteristics we talk about is cross metapath synergy. And uh, generally speaking, what we mean by cross metapath syn uh, synergy is that it is less likely to observe co occurrence of path instances under multiple uncorrelated metapathies. And if we do observe such um, co occurrence between a node pair, it will imply some high relevance. And this is something. Uh, this is a kind of heuristic which is not modeled by existing relevance measures, and we have observed it in real-world data set, which is um, explained in our paper. And now we have the probabilistic interpretation, and we also have the three characteristics. We then proposed a novel uh, path-based relevance from probabilistic perspective, which we call PrEP. And the high-level idea how PrEP works is that Following our interpretation of existing relevance measures, PrEP models the generating process of past instances under each metapath. And PrEP estimates its model parameters by fitting the given HIN. That is to say, actually, when fitting the uh, model, PrEP, what PrEP does is to find what scenario is most likely in this given data set. In other words, PrEP is therefore a relevance measure tailored for each data set. And after model fitting, PrEP computes the relevance score for each data uh, for each node pair with negative log likelihood. And we note that PrEP is actually a generalization of existing path-based uh, relevance measures, including path count, path sim, and join sim. And at the high level, this is how PrEP looks like. Uh, again, following what we have previously. We, uh, the path count between node pair S under metapath T is generated from uh, an exponential. And the, for the rate parameter, we have three components. The first one, eta, models path selectivity of paths under metapath T. And this tau is where a node visibility comes in. And the node visibility of each single node is further regularized by a gamma prior. And the third component, the psi st, governs the distribution of metapathies between a uh, node pair s. And this psi st is further uh, given by a mixture of k generating patterns. And here, when we say generating patterns, it, is basically, it basically captures what metapathies co-occur often in this given HIN. And we further encourage a node to adopt only a few generating patterns. And this enables us to model cross metapath synergy. And this is how the model looks like. And after model inference, we can simply compute the relevance between a node pair deriving from the uh, negative log likelihood again. And in order to infer the model, what we did is we find the MAP estimate of the model parameters. And we also proposed an algorithm that iteratively update the model parameters. And the nice thing about this algorithm is that it can carry out the model inference in a reasonable uh, amount of time. Uh, this is because when we update this eta, we have the closed form solution. When we update rho, we have closed form solution for each node. And when we update phi, uh, it's more complicated, so we use projected gradient descent. However, however, luckily, we have that the rows of phi's are actually independent from each other, so we can update each row of phi in parallel. And lastly, we have the theta. We still use PGD. However, the size of theta is much, much smaller than size of phi. So even by just using PGD, we still can get uh, the parameter updated in a reasonable time. For experiments, uh, we carried out experiments on two data sets with corresponding uh, evaluation tasks. Of the first data set is Facebook, where the task is to infer whether two users are friends using 10 different metapathies. And the second data set is DBLP, where the task is to resolve duplicates of author nodes. And we use 14 different metapathies, which represents author published paper in the same uh, research area in computer science. 
And we compare with a couple of baselines, including uh, path count, path seam, joint seam, which are the three um, measures we just talked about. And we also compare with same rank. And we also uh, carry out the experiments on variance of PrEP, the proposed model, where the variance are basically partial models with one of the three components knocked out. And this, so the first partial model does not model uh, node visibility, and the second model does not model uh, path selectivity, and the last one without cross meta path synergy. And this is the um, um, main result of the experiment, where the first couple of columns are the baselines, followed by three columns of partial models, and the last column is our proposed full prep model. And we can see from this table that uh, PrEP outperformed all baselines, which demonstrate the effectiveness of the pro uh, proposed PrEP model. And PrEP, generally speaking, outperformed all variants, uh, which are the partial models, which suggests each uh, model component actually have a positive effect on the performance of the overall full model. Beyond that, we can also see from this experiment that the heuristic methods cannot yield robust relevance measure, while our prep model um, is tailored for each data set. What we mean by this is that if you look at the result for DBLP, actually join sin performs better than pass sin. However, on uh, Facebook, pass sin performs slightly better than join sin. Basically, uh, remember that pass sin and join sin are just two different, uh, just uh, use different heuristics to model node visibility. That is, you say, if you just use one heuristics, you cannot yield a consistently good relevance measure. However, our prep model, since we fit the model to each data set, it can give us a consistently good relevance measure. And we actually have uh, more results and ob observations. And please check out our paper for more details. And actually, for this work, since this is the first uh, work thinking about this problem from the probabilistic perspective. So there is still a big room for improvement. And here are a couple of future directions. The first one is we, can, we expect to do better modeling of path selectivity because currently without supervision, our prep model assumes uninformative prior on ETA. However, the best weights for metapathies for different tasks can differ significantly. So if we just use uninformative prior, it's definitely not satisfying. And the second thing is, instead of MAT, MAP estimates on the model parameters as we are doing now, we can actually treat all the model parameters as hidden variables and define the relevance measure by marginal likelihood of the ob observed path instances in the data set. And the third thing is people may want to put ads on design to adapt the proposed model to a supervised setting. So uh, to sum up, what we did is first we established the probabilistic interpretation of path-based HI and relevance measures. And we also identified node visibility, path selectivity, and cross metapath synergy as three important characteristics in path-based HI and relevance, where cross metapath synergy is something not modeled by existing relevance measures. And the third thing is we propose a novel relevance measure called PrEP based on a generative model which is tailored for each data set. And lastly, we perform experiments on two real world data sets which corroborated the effectiveness of our proposed model and relevance measure. Okay, thank you. I can take questions from here.